Hi everyone, in this video we've got a few quick changes on the door. We're going to change out the window winders, we've got new door catches and we've got some trim pieces to go over the grab handles. So let's have a look. Okay, so inside, um, one of the things that really annoys me about my van, tiny little thing, these door handles, uh, I don't know why, it's got a grey handle and a black clip, really frustrating, so don't really like that. The door handle is uh, it's a bit broken, it doesn't always catch, and um, the grab handles, they are definitely showing their age. So what I've got is... New door winder, about four or five quid. New door catch, again, five or six quid. Get these on Amazon, eBay. I'll put links to all this stuff in the description below, so you don't need to go hunting for it. And then, I've got these. Now these are um, vinyl covers to go over the door handles. So, you go over here. They need sticking on, um, but I think they're pretty cool. Matches in with the seat quite well managed to get the the stitching and the the leatherette color to match so we're going to give these a go so these door handles uh, covers they came from retro retrims i'll put a, a link in the description just over 30 pounds a pair delivered i think that's very reasonable when you see the quality that goes into this They've been really nicely stitched on the back trimmed out um, good quality material strong stitching on there and at just over 30 quid a pair delivered I think that's that's fairly reasonable to make things a bit easier what we're going to do is take the door card off if you've not done this before it's quite straightforward you're going to take the door pin unscrew that once that's unscrewed put it somewhere safe you're going to have to Push the clip up on the on the winder, pull that off, put that somewhere safe. And then these door handles, depending on how warm they are, it should just pop off like that. I've got three screws, one, two, three. And then sometimes, but not always, I do have one on this one. There's another screw just in behind here. So I'm just gonna go get the screwdriver now, whip those bits off, and then hopefully that whole door card should just lift out. Okay, well once you're at this point, the whole door card should just lift out. There we go. Okay, so we're back in the garage now. We've got the door card out. The only reason we need to take this door card off is because it's a lot easier to get this door handle out if the door card's off. What we're gonna do flip it over, should be able to release it from behind. And there you have it, just very easily. There's a clip at the top there, uh, clip down the bottom here. Just be careful because this one does break, it's quite delicate. And then the whole thing should just lift out. So if I go grab the replacement handle, we should be able to pop that one straight back in. So here's our replacement door handle, exactly the same in black. So clip at the bottom, clip at the top. So what we need to do is feed this in from behind. We're gonna go in, round, clip. All right, that looks okay. So let's go pop this back on the door. All right, so fitting the door car back on should be quite straightforward. 
best way to do this is just line the hooks at the bottom first everything else should then slot in there we go that went on quite easily I'm just going to put the uh, put the small screw back in Gonna take the small screw back out because I didn't line up the door pin before I dropped the panel on, which I always forget and I never learn. Right, door pin's on, let's try that again. Time to put the door handle on. Quite straightforward. Just pop it on, clip. There we go. Very, very easy. Right, so that's the door handle. Just check that this is. It doesn't look like it's. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Okay, that's all lined up, that's clipped in. Get the door handle back on. Okay, last thing we need to do is go and put the vinyl cover uh, on this handle. Right, okay, we're back in the garage now. So we've got our door handle. This is the driver's side. We've got our cover. Line the seams up along this, this edge here. So we're gonna follow this, this edge here. We're gonna line the seams up. And the idea is that we're gonna stick this in place. We're gonna make sure it's really, really well stuck down. And then when it's all done, we're gonna wrap it around the edges, probably super glue it in place, or hot glue gun, or something, just to hold it in place. And then we're gonna very carefully trim all the way around. And hopefully that should then go back into the van and look really nice and neat. Now, I was told by the guys at Retro Retrims the best thing to use on this is um, paint on glue. Uh, so use glue and a brush with high temperature adhesive. Don't have any of that. Um, but I am on a bit of a time crunch to get this done. So I'm going to hope that high temperature um, spray glue is going to do the same job. So got the cardboard down because no doubt I'm gonna make a mess always end up making a mess with sticky glue we'll give this a crack see what it looks like hopefully I'm not gonna make a complete mess of it if you've not used spray glue before you need to spray both sides you need to leave it about 30 seconds to a minute until it starts to get tacky. You can see it's tacky like that. So when it's, it's not quite not quite there yet, but uh, in a moment it's going to get really tacky. And then hopefully we can... Oh yeah, it's there now. So now I need to carefully take this piece and stick it onto... Here. This vinyl is very pliable though, it does seem to be taking the shape okay, so there is hope yet. Just make sure that those seams are really nicely stuck down and just very gently work it out to the edges. What I'm hoping 
is that there will be enough glue left on the back of the fabric to wrap this around. Right, back with the scissors. Kind of hoping if I give this a quick squirt, trim it over, should be okay. My wife's not going to be very happy when she finds out I'm using her scissors. But she will find that because she watches the videos. I'll make her watch the videos. Right, okay. Just want enough to wrap around, say, so taking about five, six millimeters around the edges. Hoping that's going to be enough to wrap around. The thing with this is you can always cut more out. You can't add more back in. So best thing to do is just take it nice and easy. Cut a little bit out, try it. If it doesn't work, cut a bit more out. Do you know what, I think that might do it. Okay. Cut in here, because there's some little clips. You see these little clips here, they clip in, so we're gonna to need to trim those a little bit tighter. I'm gonna need a little relief cut in here, because this is gonna to be too I think this is going to be too tight otherwise. Let's just trim this along. Not taking my own advice here, I've actually uh, trimmed this a little bit too short. So don't do what I did. Like I said, trim a little bit off at a time. Put a couple of relief cuts in here just so I can stretch it over. Pretty much there now. And this concludes my guide of how not to. Okay, so the camera ran out of uh, memory last night, so you didn't see the full results. So let's have a quick look. Here we are. So took the, the cover, it's all stretched on, pushed that back into position. And as you can see that, I think that looks really good. The quality is spot on, fits really well. So once again, these are, the seat covers are from Retro Retrims. I'll put a link in the description. They're about 30, I think they're 31 pounds, 49 pence delivered in the UK. So just over 30 pounds a pair. It's on the other side as well. Same on the other side. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it uh, been helpful for you if you've got any questions at all do leave a comment if you like the video if you can give it a thumbs up if you want to subscribe really appreciate that as well that's it for today thank you very much